Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings. I know that I said last episode that I would be handing this off to Harley, however, then I remembered that when we have a Regency Council, the previous player continues to play the Regency Council. So we will have an additional mm, 11 years here. So let's go ahead and finish up this war real quick. And this jerk is our regent, which is a problem because we want to we wanna break him up a bit. Which is unfortunate, but it's okay. This guy is our prisoner. So let's go ahead and mop up this war really, really fast. And our regent is now joining an independence faction. That's interesting. We'll go ahead and split this, and we will fight these guys and these guys simultaneously. And then we'll start sieging down here. Okay. And we'll catch these guys. Excellent. Don't really care about the, that defensive pact. And we will just continue crushing these guys. Over and over. There we go. Okay. Excellent, excellent. This war is going swimmingly. We do need to start sieging, so we'll go ahead and siege in Fortriu. He has no way to get in through here. This guy is now our prisoner. That is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People hate us. Defensive packs and all that. We do need to siege here as well, in Fib, but these guys are still potentially a siege threat. At least for another couple more smacks. Now they're probably pretty safe to leave alone. And he usurped the title he was going after, so he now holds both of these duchies in full, which is a big issue. He also is the liege of the Chief of Galloway, which again is an issue. We'll try to deal with that as best we can, but he's our regent, so it's going to be a pretty big problem. If we demand Galloway, we can demand that to retract the vassalage there. That is an option, but since he's our liege, if he decides to rebel, he'll take basically the whole kingdom with him, and we don't necessarily want that to happen, at least not right now. It'd be a pretty big issue. But we'll just wrap up this war extremely quickly here. We do have these dangerous factions, particularly this one, increased council power. Our council will be discontent for a while yet, until 10 February of 882. So we'll just need to keep our nose clean until then, when they'll no longer be allowed to be on factions. Okay, we're at 100% war score, so we'll go ahead and offer peace here. And we collected ourselves yet another duchy title which would be the Duchy of Albany, right here. Didn't get any actual land, I don't believe, but we may have gotten... Yeah, we got this. We got Fife. Fief. Go ahead and march these guys back to here. We do have raiders. As we ride through the empty corridors of our castle on our trusty wooden stick horse, we come across our regent getting some fresh air on a balcony, which has his... with his back turned against us. We could kill this guy. That would be a good option. He owes a favor to five people. He's the Duke of two places. He's our regent. Let's see if we can kill him. Hey, we killed him. Excellent. That is fantastic. Okay. With that happen happening, let's take a look at his replacement. This guy, Duke Harley the Just. He's a little upset with us. Um, domain too big, too many held duchies, female ruler, female heir, short reign, ultimogeniture, he wants to see it on the council, and he desires the Kingdom of Wales. Well, he's not getting that. But what he is getting is a retracted vassal in the form of this guy. However, we should wait until our council is no longer discontent here in another year before we start trying to clean all of this up. 
that's going to be a big deal. We got some tech points. Nothing that we can actually spend it on yet, though. And we should actually put in a council, most likely. These guys are all going to be upset. We do need to hand out some of these titles up here. Let's see, this is all held by this guy. I'd rather he not hold this county, but it's not the worst. I believe we hold this personally, though. Yes, we do. And we should get rid of that. So let's go ahead and find somebody to give that to. How about this guy? This guy looks like he's trustworthy. We'll grant him the landed title of the County of Gowrie. Council's voting no because they're all empty. Council votes on that? Oh, because we're in Regency. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we can't actually get rid of land because we're in Regency and the, the empty seats will vote against it. However, we don't really have anybody that we can put in on our council who isn't a malcontent because we have too much land. Thanks, Harley. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so let's think here. We need to get rid of a duchy, for sure. We need to get rid of the duchy of Munster is a good one for us. It's Albany that we need to get rid of because we have Meath, Albany, and Munster. So yeah, we need to get rid of the duchy of Albany. Okay, so the de jure capital of this duchy is in fact this one. So we have to give this out. Hmm. What if hypothetically we grant this guy the duchy itself and all all titles? Everybody's voting against it still, of course. We don't have anybody in these seats. Okay, let's just try to find people who might potentially vote with us. This guy. This guy. They don't necessarily have the best stats, but they're not going to be super upset about everything. Okay, there we go. So now, hypothetically, can we give this guy... Actually... Do I have somebody of our house? No. Not really. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it to this guy. The Duchy of Albany. Everybody's voting against it. Why? No particular opinion and has been swayed by the diplomacy rating of other voters. Excellent. And we also have an empty seat here. Why do we still have an empty seat? We don't have an empty seat. Okay. We'll take that ahead a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Defensive pacts. So why can't we give this out? It says we have an empty seat. I mean, they're, they're all voting against us anyway. But I'm, I'm a bit confused by the empty seat. Well, we do definitely need... Perhaps we can just give this guy the county now? No. Also, this is not an empty seat. I don't understand why this is here. Should be just these guys. This guy is returning a favor to this guy, and this guy's a malcontent. How long is this favor going to last, though? That's the question. 35 months. Okay, so we just wait till our council is no longer discontent at this point. They won't let us do anything at all to change the status quo. This is going to be very unfortunate, but it is what it is. We're going to have... Do we have an adventurer coming in? No, I thought we did. Okay, these guys are leaving. This is all good. We do have these dangerous factions. Increase council power. That's pretty spooky. Try it again, Nadarchu says. But we can't do it. We can't whistle. How come he can do it? May lead to brooding. Or he can keep trying. Let's get some prestige. We just need to not have this rebellion pop for another little while. Let's see what we can do here. 
Hmm. These guys all hate us quite a lot. Why is this guy in this? Primarily because domain too big and too many held duchies. We really need to handle that, but the council won't let us. What a bunch of jerks. We can't pass any laws. Hmm. We need to hand this out. Let's think here a second. As long as this dangerous faction doesn't pop, which they are getting stronger and stronger as time goes on, unfortunately. As long as it doesn't pop, we're okay. Because we just need to survive another mm, six months or so. But without it popping. It's possible we could... Nope. Hmm. It's possible that we could maybe bribe somebody. But it's pretty unlikely. It's also possible that we might be able to form an alliance with this guy. We need a close relative or a non-aggression pact with France. That would almost certainly call us into conflict with the Umayyads. We could try to cozy up to Scandinavia. That is an option. Who do we have in our family, though? Not very many people because our previous ruler only had the one child. He was 46 when he died. Bit unfortunate. This is a difficult position. We just need to pray that this doesn't pop, I guess. 109.5. Hmm. These guys are all pretty upset and so much of it so much of it is because they won't let us handle things this faction is getting scarily strong hundred and twelve percent they could pop any time we need desperately to deal with it but how? We haven't set our crown focus. That's one thing we can do. That won't help. Council will continue to be discontent for another... Mm, six months. Five months. This is very, very bad, this scenario right now. 114%. 133.8% for Wales. Six, gavel kind succession. That's also extremely bad this guy is who is this this is the Duke of Cornwall this is very 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 bad very soon now though we're gonna get our council content with any luck it won't happen any of these guys on our council? No. We could put this guy on our council. Harley the Third, the Just. Would rather not. We want to shatter his power. If we can survive another three months without it popping, without any of these popping, that would be for the best. We could also very much use a friend. How about Wessex? Do we have do we have any ties here already? No? Okay. What about Wow. Rip Lombardy. Okay. Well that's no good. There isn't much for Christian powerhouses right now. 
We can't really seek foreign aid. We just need to survive two more months without it popping. Once that happens, we can theoretically put a couple of these guys on the council. Maybe, like, for example, this guy and this guy. This is just increased council power. Specifically, I'm not sure which one. We may, we may have to just accept it if this one procs. If this one procs, we should fight it. We could hire mercs and make that happen. Speaking of mercs, we can do some money things. We can welcome back the Jews. Jews have been banned from our realm for some time, but strangely this seems to have had no effect on many of the malaises they were thought responsible for, such as famines and disease. By now, most Jews seem to have forgiven your offenses, and we have decided to welcome them back with open arms. Mistakes were made. Let us not dwell on them. So now we can borrow from the Jews, and then we can kick out the Jews next life. Excellent. Free money is good. Okay, only a few more days. Council will be content very soon, 10 February. Okay, council is content. Oh, Gavelkind succession in Wales is, is now the biggest threat. The increased council power is now no longer an issue because council members can't be on that. So, we need to break this guy up. There's no doubt about that in my mind right now. We need to revoke the title Duchy of Powys from him immediately. There's still this empty seat showing up. That's a bit frustrating. We don't actually have any empty seats here. We could potentially be able to bribe some of these people. Who is our regent? This guy. He's returning a favor to this guy. That's unfortunate. So, if we revoke the Duchy of Powys from him, it goes against the will of the council. We could potentially, if it wasn't for this random empty seat here, we could bribe these guys by a favor he won't do it. Because he doesn't like us enough. Of course he doesn't. Now that the council is no longer discontent, can we at least hand this out? That would be very nice. Let's take a look here. Nope. They're all voting against it. All because of this jerk. Can we kill this guy? Like, seriously, what's our... We can't plot. Regencies are so much fun. I love Regency. Well, I guess we just tick forward. This Gavelkind succession in Wales is likely to pop. We could potentially, maybe, bribe a few of them out of there, but probably not. The best way to do this is likely to be to put one of these guys on the council. This guy would be a good option. He's a good steward and a good court chaplain. Let's go ahead and our steward is fairly friendly, but he is lowborn. So let's go ahead and put the Duke of Dehuabarth on there. Now, he's going to be a malcontent, but at least he's less angry at us. Okay, this is still going to be really, really obnoxious. Tolerance is not going to be able to be brought up anytime soon. What about, hypothetically, our retinues? 1.6k. Okay, so we can get another cavalry retinue in 2k more. Which, of course, could get there through military organization, which we don't have enough for. Or potentially, I'm not sure if our retinue cap is currently lowered by being over our limits. It's possible. No, it is not. Okay. Brigands have arrived. Okay. And Pictland is having Pictland issues. Hey, Gavelkind succession in Wales is actually losing strength. That's really, really good. We got kind of lucky here. 
that none of those have actually popped. We are currently seven, so we're going to have another nine-ish years of Regency, in which we largely do nothing. And somebody just died. That is excellent. Oh, this guy died. That's the biggest jerk of them all. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, we don't want this guy on the council. Absolutely not. High Chief of Ulster would not be a terrible ally to have. Duke of Mercia would be better, though. We could almost get him to a positive opinion of us. Let's go ahead and send him a gift. Like so. And then appoint him. And hey, he's a pragmatist. Excellent. Okay. So, can we now give out this title that we've been trying to give out, but they're too angry at us for not giving out the title to let us give out? No. Of course not. Excellent. Okay. Well, looks like this guy took over the Gavilkine succession in Wales. And they're still, uh, still kind of angry. It's all good, though. They just don't want us to have more power than we already do. How close are we actually to being able to form the de jure kingdom of Pictland, or rather usurp it? Let's see, I think we can actually do it once he's no longer at war. That would be good. Apostate found. Our court chaplain bursts into our chambers, flanked by several men-at-arms, dragging this guy, no, not this guy, this lady, with them in chains. My queen, there are many concerned peasants claiming that their children are plagued by nightmares of this woman. She's obviously a witch. What shall be done with her? Well, we could burn her at the state. Maybe this time we'll actually learn what state we're burning her at. Do we care about her? No, she's a lowborn. No real opinion. We could get her excommunicated. Or we could let her go free. Lose ten piety. There's no real reason not to burn her at the state. We'll go ahead and do that. There we go. We do have a fair amount of money that we're sitting on. I don't want to spend it yet, though. Reason being, we may need to hire mercs still to deal with some of these factions. Increased council power in Ireland is coming back up. That's no good. Hmm. Okay. Hypothetically, if we were to bribe a few of our council members, these guys are returning favors to this guy. Of course they are. He's a, he's a jerk. Can we actually plot to kill this guy? No, we can't, because we're, we're tiny. We're teeny tiny. We are eight. We can't plot to kill anybody. It is very saddening. Brittany is losing to Wessex over here. That's heartening. Oh boy. He's heir to the county of Brafney. That's not good. Not good at all. Brafney is here. Hmm. Okay. That's... That's fine. He can do that. Have fun, Svithyod. Have fun with that. They're within Scandinavia over here. Scandinavia now has all of this. That should be fun. Well, Harley gets to deal with most of that. We got almost nothing done. And now that our council is just jerks, <laughs> it's just no good. 29 months and 25 months. And they are insisting on Gavelkind. Okay. Duke of Cornwall is doing this. How much troops do they actually have? 122.4% of our troops. We're being raided by these guys. So that's going to be really obnoxious. And Fief, Athol, Argyle, Count of Chester, Duke of Cornwall, and this jerk. Interesting. Okay. We will not be blackmailed. Okay, we're going to have a civil war here. So, we're going to have to deal with these guys. They don't have that many troops. These guys are currently leaving. That is excellent. Absolutely excellent. So let's go ahead and hold control to not fight these guys. We're only losing 39 troops out of that, actually. 
we will go ahead and raise our vassal levies. We'll see how many guys actually can get here. The major threat is down here. We'll see about grouping up down here. We have a lot of raiders around, which is very, very maddening. But this should be okay. We're going to lose some troops up here. That was known. We have a lot of guys who did not, in fact, rebel. We found another apostate. This guy, Chief of Carrick, Chancellor of Galloway. Master of the Horse of Galloway. He, uh... He's not of our house. We don't really care about him. Let's set him on fire. Excellent. Okay. We just need to finish grouping up here. He has acquired 3,000 men. We're going to need to hire some mercs almost certainly to get through this. Go ahead and hire the Breton Band. They have a decent number of cavalry. Okay. Let's see. Irish Revolt in Chester. Okay. If he wants to come across, he's going to have to... He's going to have to either let us group up here or walk across the channel. We do have more guys coming in up here. I feel like our best option is to go after these guys. ASAP. Have these guys kind of... No. Walk up this way. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Like that. Take the roundabout route. The scenic route. Okay, these guys are turning around and heading back. That is highly unfortunate. We don't really have the numerical advantage to take this crossing. He's going to get this siege. Let's walk up this way. Maybe we can bait him. Um, our nannies are away, and as we ro roam around the grounds, we come upon this guy. He looks up and seems interested in conversation. Okay. We'll talk to him. Okay. We talked for a long while with him. He had many funny things to tell us, and we had a really good time. We gain the trait affectionate for plus one diplomacy, or we could just gain ten general opinion because we're cheery. Let's take that. We need people to like us more. He does not seem interested in taking the bait and coming up here. The ongoing civil war has caused both loyal veterans and various adventurers to make their way to Dublin for the muster. Excellent! We get ourselves some free troops. That is really really handy okay so let's go ahead and see if we can get up here looks like they're gonna actually group up that's very very sad okay so he's gonna go ahead and keep sieging in Dyfed. I feel like we need another Merc band this is gonna be really expensive let's go for the one with the cheapest monthly cost which would be the Saxon band. Let's just group up with them. That is not the button I wanted to press. That is the button I wanted to press. And hey, he got a lot of troops. That is maddening. How did he get that many troops? They had 4,000 troops. Are those mercs? Like, we are currently losing a lot of money each month to maintain this army. Do we have any other options? We can raise vassal levies. We can raise personal levies. We should. We uh, are currently being blocked in by these jerks. They can't actually siege, so they should just leave. Okay, we need desperately to be able to fight these guys. We cannot cross here, and these guys are coming in on our 12 troops. Thanks, bud. Thanks. Okay, he's walking away. Is he going to let us cross? I believe he is. We'll find out. Yep, he's going to let us cross. This is in hills. He is currently sieging. If this is the same as the rules in Europa, we should be the defenders in hills here. I, 
believe. Although he is going to get the defensive bonus, it looks like. That's no good. We'll go up into Eternal Wig instead. Our regent was replaced with another. Okay. It's fine. In fact, none of this is fine. Do we need more mercs? We may need more mercs. Something along the lines of one of these 2250 bands. Like this one here, or actually this one is slightly cheaper. We're going to be running out of money very, very quickly. Let's go ahead and move these guys back into die fed. Once these group up, we will see about crushing this major army here. Once we have that done, theoretically, we can put down at least most of these mercs. Come on, get there. Get across the channel. You can do it. Okay. Now we fight this. With any luck, we win this. Maybe. Yep, yeah, we're winning. Excellent, excellent. We're crushing. Great. This is fantastic. Okay. We captured this guy. That's kind of irrelevant. We actually captured a lot of people. We need to put down this army ASAP, though. We need to get it small so that we can get rid of some of our mercs. Fratricelli heresy in Ulster. We need to deal with that. We need to deal with that immediately. We will go ahead and proselytize in Ulster. There we go. We killed that guy. That's fine. Don't really care about that. We need to continue fighting these battles. Absolutely need to. Okay. And this is why I didn't spend all of our money earlier. This is exactly the reason. We need to get some more crushing victories here, though. We need to really whittle these guys down. And we need to do it fast. We're rapidly running out of funding. Hopefully we capture somebody important. We did get some tech points, so that's a thing. We only have about one month's worth of money left. Hey, Ulster is Catholic now. That was fast. Well, you can stop that then. Actually, he can't. Can't stop that yet. That's fine. Okay, there are now sufficiently few men there that we can go ahead and dismiss this band. For sure. Save ourselves a significant amount of money monthly. There we go. And there's some raiders coming in. That's actually pretty handy for us. Really want to crush this force completely and utterly. Would be very, very useful indeed. Dehuvarth has a revolt going on. We should enforce realm peace right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Everybody's in favor. Hey, we captured their leader. Perfect. Okay, so. We can go ahead and offer peace. Enforce demands. There we go. The Civil War is over. Go ahead and put all of this down. Actually, we need to tick a day, I think. There. Due to enemy presence in our homelands. Okay, well. That's fine. March these guys up over here. So, at this point, this guy is now imprisoned, and we can safely revoke titles from him since he's a traitor to our realm. Which is excellent. Okay, our council still won't let us. Thanks, council! 
can we at least retract vassalage from him? Since he's a traitor, our vassals will not object. Excellent. So we get that. And he's forced to do it. There we go. Since he's in prison, he can't do anything about it. Next, we absolutely need to break this up. That is the absolute top priority right now. Is revoking the Duchy of Palace from this guy. And if we can revoke the title of this from him, that would be great too. So, let's go ahead and we are out of money. Hmm. We can't really get our council to, to be in favor of this currently. A lot of it's because of that missing seat. Not sure what's going on with that. We can create the Pickland title. We need money for that, though. Which we really don't have. Okay, that faction went away. Excellent, excellent. Okay, I think we have this situation under control now. And this has gone quite a bit over, and we have an adventure threat coming in, looks like. No vassal levies. Why do we have vassal levies? We should not have vassal levies up. Dismiss realm levies. Dismiss personal levies. There we go. Oh, those must have been down here. <laughs> Fun. Okay, well, this has gone significantly over, so let's go ahead and put a cut in here. And next episode, we will continue trying to make this jerk pay for what he has done. Until then, I will see you all next time.